I'm going to share with you a story that I'm telling you, you just can't make something like this up. So hang in there, watch till the end, okay? Um, my family, we planned a vacation to come to South Africa. I started planning this vacation a year ago, thinking it would probably be the last time the five of us went away. My daughter's now engaged, and not that we don't love her future husband, but just this would be the last vacation just the five of us took. So we gathered up some miles on United, and then some great friends gave us some passes that we could use. Um, they worked for the airline so that we could come over here. So my daughter and I came over a couple days early because we were flying standby and we wanted to get here. So we came over a couple days early. When my husband and my two sons got to the airport, they discovered that my son Neil's passport had expired and he was not going to be able to come. I get a uh, message from my husband, I'm here and I am just devastated. Again, this is something we've planned so far in advance. We're gonna be here for Christmas. And now the thought of trying to enjoy a vacation in South Africa while my son Neil is home alone just tore me up. I tried to go to bed that night and I couldn't sleep, literally like sick over it. And I had my Bible in my lap and I didn't really read it. I was just holding it and claiming the promises in, the, in God's word. And I'm just saying, God, um, I know you can work all things for good. You, I know you love me. I know you know my desire is for us to be together for Christmas and to have this time together over here. And um, just went to bed thinking, how? How can this work out for good? So my husband and my other son, Quinn, get on a plane and we start trying to figure out the passport thing and all that. Well, if Neil had gotten on that plane, my friend Eileen, who most of you know because she's been in almost all of our videos and TV shows, and Eileen is truly one of the greatest humans ever to live. I mean, if you know Eileen, you love Eileen. Well, her daughter Mallory is much the same, and Mallory's 22, and she was going to stay at our house and take care of my dogs while our family was here in um, South Africa. Well, because Neil didn't get on the plane, Mallory didn't have to spend the night at our house that night because Neil was going to be there. Well, that I get a call the next day, and what happened was Eileen, Mallory, the, the Sloan's house caught on fire that night. And I'm not talking just a tiny little thing. Their house caught on fire. And what happened was Mallory was the only one who woke up. She heard the alarm. She went into her parents' bedroom. Ken and Eileen were both sound asleep. She woke them up with literally minutes to spare. They got nothing. Like Mallory didn't have shoes on. Eileen didn't have her purse. They took nothing with them and just barely got out alive. So let's just think about this. If Neil had gotten on that plane, Mallory is at our house. Ken and Eileen don't wake up. I'd say God works all things for good. And if, in case I just needed more confirmation that Neil was not supposed to be on that plane, craziest thing, Neil got home that night from the airport and he started to throw up. And he proceeded to do that for the next 18 hours. The entire time he would have been flying, he would have been throwing up. Is that crazy? Like I'm sitting here in South Africa saying, God, how can you work this for good? I'm devastated, I wanted us together. All right, gets even better. So Neil gets an appointment, because you have to make an appointment at a passport agency like two days later. He walks in, unbelievable. In five hours, he has a passport. That night, gets on a plane, and he's with us. So we're all going to be together now for Christmas. He got here yesterday. Yes, Ken and Eileen's house has burned down and they have nothing, but now they can at least stay in our house while we're here. And I had to decorate it all up for Christmas, so they have a house to stay in. And they are so, so grateful to be alive. I started to think, God, this is unbelievable how you've worked all this, but what about if this never happened? What about if we never had the passport situation? What about if that fire never happened? And I felt this little voice say, I wouldn't be getting the praises and glory that I'm getting. And that's what I, it's all about, is for people to come to realize how, how awesome I am, how awesome God is. And that's not egotistical, because the reason he wants you to know how awesome he is, is because he wants you to love him and live fully for him and learn to trust him. So I know for me personally, my level in trust, I mean, I already thought I had a huge level of trust in God, but now I'm like, really? This is what you can do? This is how you worked this, God? 
that doesn't mean for bad to happen, but when things like this happen, oh my goodness, can he work them for good, just like his word says. Trust God all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. That's what the word tells us to do, and that's what my promise to God is. In all ways, I will trust him.